for all things mattress. Fam.news. I could actually hear you laughing at the very beginning of the show. If you listen back, you can hear him. And also, Quinn was laughing whenever he pulled up in front of Muskelly's in central Mississippi. And there it was on the sign in big, bold letters. He's going to tell you what was happening, why he was in town, why he saw Dr. V, and what it was like during the summer of sleep. Did they hit their goal? Or did they miss it? Because it's wrapped up, and the Dos Marcos show begins in 60 seconds. Driven entrepreneurs, listen up. It's time to team up with Nationwide Marketing Group, North America's most successful network of independent retailers. You'll gain access to programs and services that level the playing field between you and the national chains. Industry-leading digital marketing, increased buying power, exclusive networking events, and of course, their awesome learning platform. Nationwide Marketing Group is the business partner that helps you get results and stay ahead of the competition. Take the first step today and visit nationwidegroup.org. Do you want more sales in three easy clicks? Yeah. It starts right now at doorcounts.com. With a completely redesigned user interface, gathering data has never been easier. Click number one, your salespeople connect with a customer as they walk through the door. Click two is the outcome. Click three, key performance metrics right there on your phone from anywhere at any time. Now your salespeople can spend their time selling and DoorCounts is going to gather the data you need to make your business better. Start right now at DoorCounts.com. Welcome to the Dos Marco Show with Mark Kinsley and Mark Quinn, where mattress and furniture leaders gather to grow, get the inside scoop, tell stories, and take tequila shots. Uno, dos, tequila! Welcome aboard. Here's your passport to a planet filled with the mattress industry's brightest minds and biggest ideas. Meet your guides. I'm Mark Kinsley, president and CEO of Englander. And I'm Mark Quinn, co-founder of Spink & Co. and VP of Sherwood Betting. Together, they are Dos Marcos. The galaxy's greatest mattress podcast has liftoff in three, two, one... If you're on the list, you got the research. It has officially been sent out and you become a member of the fam and you get the mattress research from 2000 recent buyers that we partnered with Nationwide Marketing Group on. It's in your inbox right now. And here are three headlines up on the fam right now at fam.news. 15 standalone stores and Purple expands their partnership with Mattress Firm. Who knew Fif Purple had 15 standalone stores plus eight sleep raises $86 million and expand, uh, expands internationally. Plus, this one I wrote, it was a weird, weird time. Poltergeists and the unlucky 13th floor at Las Vegas Mattress Market. Those are your headlines up right now at fam.news. I love it. Halloween's right around the corner, Kinsley. And the good old thing about you guys, the stories that Kinsley just referenced, all you got to do, go to Apple Podcast or Spotify and subscribe to the podcast, The Fam Audio Stories. The cool thing is you'll get the stories before we ever even post them to the website. And everything on the website can be listened to in your car, when you're working out, driving in, whatever it is. So it's a pretty cool way to experience the fam and stay up on the latest and greatest. Kinsley, looking very handsome there in that fam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We handed out about 100 mm -hmm. of these. No, right at 100 of these at Nationwide Primetime. So if you were there, the odds are really good that you, if you came across us, you're now sporting a fam.news hat. And these were all courtesy of our friends at colonialpromotions.com. And, you know, we had something else picked out for a day, day, but I'm like, look, we actually have the fam hats. So we use Colonial Promotions for the fam's promotional needs because we know we're going to get the best stuff. We know we don't have to, like, dig through a stack of 36,000 coffee mugs to get the one that we know is going to represent our brand well and is going to represent the fam well and then on top of that i've got my englander polo on so we wanted some polo shirts for our team and for our friends who came to visit the englander space at las vegas market so what did i do called up wes and tim and the team at colonialpromotions.com they hooked us up and so they are our supplier of choice you should definitely check them out they're our friends they've served this industry for a long time so for all your promotional needs whether it's kidding picking packing employee benefits events, company picnics with matching t-shirts. I mean, name it, name it. And they're going to make it happen. And you know, speaking of making it happen, 
Dr. V made it happen when you pulled up to Miskelly's in central Mississippi to see the legend himself, this sign, this giant sign. I always knew your name would be in lights. And there it was. <laughs> well, for, for, for the record, it was our name in lights, actually, the, the Dismarcus podcast. But Kinsley, we got to rewind. So I just got off my plane and Dr. V is going to pick me up at the airport. So I walk out. And I'm looking up and down this aisle of cars, and I'm like, I can't see Dr. V. I can't find him. There he is in this dope-ass 5.0 Mustang convertible watching you on his phone <laughs> deliver a interview at Las Vegas Market. He is always trying to like be appropriate with his audience, wearing our shirts to breakfast at Market, for instance, and... He's always very thoughtful of that. So anyway, that was awesome. We got to tool around all of Mississippi in that uh, convertible Mustang. So that was pretty cool. And we did. We rolled up to his offices and we got in the parking lot and he parked so far away right by this big billboard. I'm like, Dr. V, I love your car. I get it. I really do. But there are a thousand spaces between us and your front door. So maybe we, maybe we get a little close. But I didn't want to say anything. Maybe he's trying to like exercise and stuff. So anyway, he like makes, he's like, hey, look, watch this. Look at the billboard. And it was changing all the graphics. It was a big video screen. Sure enough, there, there, there it comes. It's the Dis Marcos podcast and uh, my name in lights and him welcoming me, welcoming me uh, to Muskelly, which it did. I felt really great about that. So that was very cool of him and his marketing department. So thanks, guys. For I love that. Launching it the right way. But Kinsley, this place is amazing, man. These guys, as soon as we walk in. You know, we, we talk about retailers getting it right and doing it differently, and these guys definitely do. And when we first walked into the store, it was beautiful, by the way. Very, very big store. And all of the, the salespeople were gathered around their computers and, you know, talking through business that just came out of the weekend. And everyone's working door counts, actually, on their computer. So I got to go actually look over their shoulder and see door counts actually in action. So that was pretty cool. But they just finished their uh, summer of love, summer, summer of, sleep, of love, <laughs> and uh, getting <laughs> summer of that. love. Well, it was love because there was tons of love. Everyone was so excited. But they they did it, Kinsley. They actually hit their five million dollar mark and uh, toppled over the top of that apex. So congratulations to Dr. V and everyone there. Man, I I was looking at the list that Dr. V would send. You know, we got to, a chance to hang out with Horace and meet him and Caleb, and just to see the people that are behind the culture of Miskelly's was illuminating for me because Dr. V always says culture is what you create or what you tolerate. And he said that on the show before. So we, we're, we're looking forward to having Dr. V back on the show to talk about the details and how you can apply the principles behind the summer of sleep and how they got to $5 million, something they'd never done in their betting department. But recently, Dr. V, uh, this past year, became the director of betting for Miskelly's, and that's what he's focused on, and he's focused on his people, you know, and that's, that was the really fun thing about meeting Horace and Caleb, and I've seen, you know, some of the other names on the list of these top sellers at Miskelly's, and you just mentioned it, Quinn, you know, I, I, I think about retailers out there who are trying to do something they've never done, and that's what Dr. V and his team said at the very beginning of this summer of sleep. To do what you've never done, you have to do what you've never done. And so they put practices in place and promotions in place and training in place, training that turned into something that you competed to get. So only the top dogs there got to compete, got to participate in some of this training. So I, I love seeing a good plan laid out. And it's even more fun when you see a good plan laid out and well executed. And they got to $5 million. And their balance of share for the mattress department within that furniture environment is eye-popping. It is. It's over 20%. And in a furniture store, that's not easy to do. So, Kinsey, I want to I talk about, because you, you just mentioned it, and, and so I want to piggyback off of that. The, the thing I noticed about Miskelly, right, and... You know, we've been around the industry long enough and we've been traveling enough and we've met with enough retailers. Well, you have a good frame of reference for, you know, what different people do to be successful. And I got to tell you, their focus on the soft side of their business, and I mean here specifically the people part of that, is so compelling. I want to take you to three different things, okay? Number one was purpose, and, and we'll stop as, as we get through each one. 
but purpose is a big deal, right? And so one of the things that he did with his, his people selling furniture and, and mattresses is, was to help them understand the game they're in. And the game isn't about selling betting. The game is about helping consumers live a better quality of life. We talk about it all the time, but these guys live it, right? And so he gets them so focused on that part of the presentation, right? And so to your point, he brings them in for the training and it's a, it's a, it's a reward to actually go through some of their training. But the purpose is executed this way too. When you walk into their break room, for instance, on the wall of the television there, it's like, hey, here's a notice, you know, company picnic coming up. Hey, everybody, don't forget to fill out your, you know, your timesheets or whatever. But then they're up pops, you know, hey, Jimmy in delivery got a five-star rating um, from through Podium today because they use Podium and it's a great, you know, way for them to, you know, give consumers a way to celebrate, you know, their experience with, with Ms. Kelly. But they put those up. And so the people who earn those good reviews are getting recognition uh, and, and, and making them feel something for the effort that they made. And so I just love that part too. Ms. Kelly like really tries to, you know, their purpose is to serve families in their community with excellent experiences. And so when people inside of Ms. Kelly get that right, they shine a bright light on those people and they help them come to work knowing that their purpose isn't just about like delivering furniture, it's to make people happy and get it right. And they are so good at so, it. So quick takeaway. So I'll do a pause button mm -hmm. takeaway. If you do not have yeah. a clearly stated purpose for your business now is the time to detail that out and dr v even told us he, he got our book come back to bed which you can grab on amazon heck if you go to our website and join the members area so if you go to fam.news and sign up as a member you can go get the audiobook for free that's how much we want you to know this information so dr v took our book and it goes through mission vision values culture brand and how do you actually define your purpose and communicate that within the framework and the context of your business? And so if you aren't laying out a purpose, let me tell you a couple of things that are probably going to happen. You're not going to attract people because I'm telling you that the generation millennial and back, if you are not telling them the purpose behind what they're doing, they're going to go find somebody that will. And the purpose behind our business is really well stated from companies like Miskelly's in companies like Jordan's and companies like Broad River Retail with Charlie Maloof. And that attracts the mm. right people to the business. And then they consistently communicate that purpose and remind them of the business that they're in to help people, to transform their lives, to help them get better rest so they can go out and change the world. Whatever combination of that there is, you have to be communicating that. And then the second piece of that takeaway is, great, we communicate it consistently to our people. Now let's make sure we're highlighting the reactions and the actions that happen after they go out and live that purpose in our business. Meaning, I'm going to splash a billboard up in the break room that says, Tommy Weatherford did a great job today and he got this amazing podium review. You, so the, the purpose being lived out has to then be highlighted and magnified internally so you then are creating a culture that supports that purpose. So what you're saying is there has to be evidence of you focusing on purpose. It's not just saying that you focus on purpose. It's show me the evidence of it. And those are some things. By the way, they had this really cool wall. So it was names. So it was Dr. V. And right next to Dr. V's name was a word. And I'm like, well, what is that word? And he said, I asked everyone to come up with a word, that one word, Kinsley, that defines what they want to do with their year this year. So his was value, right? His word was value. And so there's purpose in that uh, word for him. And so he wants to build value in everything he does. He wants to build value in his training. He wants to build value in the mattress program and the contest and the way they represent mattresses to the consumer. So I love, so anyway, here's the, the cool tie back to that word. As we're touring um, the facilities, we're down uh, where the guys are like deluxing all the products to get ready for delivery. And there's this guy standing there, like holding court with three or four delivery guys. Well, that's Oscar Miskelly, who's the, the CEO and primary shareholder of the business. And so we ran into him and I got to talk to him. By the way, he has listened to our show. He's a fan. He likes what we do. Uh, of course, he's a big fan of, of uh, Dr. V. 
Um, but when I got done, I, great conversation with him. What an incredibly kind man and smart guy. Just, just I don't know, you, when you meet him, you just kind of feel like you've known him for a while. But anyway, when we walked away, I asked Dr. V, I was like, hey, what's he doing down here? Does he come down here often? He's like, it's really important for him to walk around and catch people doing stuff right. So back to one minute manager, Kim Blanchard, those days, right? So he's, a, he's all about that. But he wants those people to know that he is grateful for what they do to add value back into the Miskele family and the experience. So people keep coming back. And so Dr. V looks at me as he explains why, uh, why he was down there, why Oscar was down there. He looks at me and he says, Oscar's word, gratitude. And I love it. Like in a word. So he's living that purpose out in that moment with those people. So I thought that was really cool. And, it, and that stuff starts from the top down, as you know. It's interesting to hear about your experience going inside, behind the curtain at Miskelly's. Mm -hmm. Because I think you know, probably what, you know, depending on what you're focused on, you could probably find a lot of things that people are doing right. <laughs> but the central theme of everything that you noticed revolves around culture and culture creation and being intentional about that. And I don't care if you're a small independent retailer where you're the only man in the store or only woman in the store if you have any plans to grow or if you employ anybody that delivers a mattress to somebody's home you're you have a chance to create culture you have a chance a chance to be intentional with what you do so it's really cool that so much of what you saw revolves around this cultural aspect and the creation of that what what else what else did you notice i mean th think about like let's just start at the very beginning and do a quick recap you pull up, mm -hmm. you park out in the South 40 in the drop-top Mustang, and there's your face up on screen and a celebration of you being there. That's culture. Then you go into the store, and you saw the people and them living out their purpose, and you saw the screens that celebrated what they did, and you saw the fact that people had the word they were focused on for the year. What else did you notice? Yeah, well, I mean, the, so we went through the training process. And, and so this is number two and it's the people, right? So another aspect of it, the people was the training. And so we talked a lot about like, not just the merchandise on their floor, but the reason different product categories were there, which I think any good merchants doing that stuff. But what was a bit different was the way they're training. So for instance, Kinsley, when they went into a store to launch a new program, they, especially getting ready for this big promotion they ran for the summer, trying to be $5 million to your point earlier, Dr. B says, we got to do things we've never done before. So you know what they did? They went in and they took the top, you know, 20 people, right? And they got 85 salespeople. They took the top 20 of them. We said, we're going to give you a chance to come in on your day off and do some exclusive training with us about the mattress category. You had to earn your right to be involved in that on your day off, right? So these are people who are pros and value the training. So when they went in, it wasn't like they just went in for one week and on Thursday and Friday did training sessions and then took off. They went back a second time. And, and we know that repetition is the mother of learning, right? And so I just love that they put so much focus on the training aspect of what they do that they felt the need to go back in a second time. So I just think they, you know, that's another thing you're investing in your people and you know that if they deliver a great experience, then it's going to uh, go downhill and everyone's going to benefit from that. So, you know, one thing that I came across that might be a valuable takeaway for you right now, if you're thinking about how do I frame up my training, how do I get better at this? How do I, how am I consistent with it? Like you said, you have to be able to train consistently because product changes, people need to be reminded. So here's one thing I learned. Imagine like just a little journey of four different quadrants. And if you're going to train somebody, the first thing you do is they watch you. So you're the expert. Have them watch you. So quadrant one is you watch me for a while. Quadrant two is you help me. So they're not going to be in charge of it, but they've watched you for a while. Now they can help you in the selling process, for example. The next step is they've been helping you for a while. They're going to be the one in charge, and you're going to help them. So you kind of flip roles right there from them helping you to you helping them. You're there for the assist. You're not going to cut the cord and say good luck. And then the final step is you, as the expert, watch them from afar. So it's just a nice little journey and a way of thinking about how you can structure things. But if you 
skip over some of those steps, people are going to feel unprepared. There's going to be a nuance of conversation they're going to miss. There's going to be a lot there that doesn't get detailed out. So I love that they're invested in training, and I know that's a core part of what they do consistently at Miskelly's. Yeah, and Jay's, they even have a trainer, Kinsley. Um, they have a trainer who does nothing but the training. So I really like that. And then the other thing is, you know, the, the, back to the people, like they're focused on people. The third part of it was fun. You know, these people, like, I don't know, man. I, I, I know every time uh, you walk into a company, you know, the, everyone puts on a good face. You know, if they have a visitor come in, you know, they want to everyone, you know, X places, everybody, right? And everyone, you know, and not that they were getting ready for me like that because, you know, they, they probably didn't care enough to do that. But Dr. V did. But anyway, they probably didn't know that, who the heck I was. But anyway, going in, I could just tell, though, the genuine affection these people had for each other and the fun they were having. Like, it was a Monday, right? And they were after a long weekend. It was Labor Day weekend, so you know they had been working. Dude, I'm telling you, they were full of joy, smiles everywhere, tons of positive energy there. Uh, they just came off, you know, Monica with... With uh, the TSI rep for Sealy, it was just, you know, Monica Anderson and Dr. V put this big promotion in it, and they had fun with it. They had the top 13 people got all these killer prizes and they got updates every week and there was competition and people came in and there's bragging rights. And, but that's just what they do. They make it fun so that when these people roll into work every day, it's not, oh, I got to go to work. Like they, they value that stuff and it's all about the people, right? So it's the purpose for their people. It is investing in training and making sure that they know their job. And the, the third part of it was just the fun aspect. And you can tell that Dr. V likes to be creative in his approach. And those people really appreciated that. So I don't know. Hats off to those guys. I've been in a lot of retail stores. All of you at Miskelly, I cannot thank you enough. The experience was incredible. And uh, I can see why you are kicking so much butt out there because you guys are doing some things that not everyone's doing. So stay the course, my friends. You're, uh, you're an impressive group to be around, and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. PTF, so. Purpose Training Fun. Trademark Mark Quinn. PTF. <laughs> hey, uh, we've got an anniversary on our hands. Yo, Adrian! We do. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. It is our one year anniversary with our chief of staff, our legal counsel, our show producer, our social media manager. I think this list could get rather long if I kept going, but uh, Adrian, thank I you for everything you do for Dos Marcos, the fam. Uh, we are so thankful for you. Can, can you talk? Are you allowed to speak? Uh oh. She can. She's, she's outside. There you go. Yes, you can. Wow, of course she can speak. <laughs> wow. And she keeps this in line and cracks it up, as you can see. Well, we, uh, that's, well, that's another full-time job you can add to your list, I'm sure. Um, but you rock. Thank you for everything you do. And I know that like, if people have listened to the FAM audio stories, go, you know, subscribe on Apple or Spotify. Uh, Adrienne is like, effectively the voice of the FAM, so she's the one you've been hearing as well. So, um, and it's, it's such a fun thing. These are like miniature podcasts that Adrienne does and takes written content and brings it to life and helps everybody keep up to speed on what's happening in the industry. And I'm sure over the past year, you're like, this is a whole other little mattress world I didn't know anything about. Is that safe to say? So Adrian, a year ago, you agreed to you agreed to jump in with us. Is it, uh, is it what you expected? I mean, was the mattress industry, uh, is it, is it more excited than you thought it exciting than you thought it might be? That's true. You've sold two businesses since we've known you, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, you, you, well, uh, well, we're
And the great thing about that is I can be like, go talk to Quinn. I didn't, it wasn't me. <laughs> and then he'll be like, wait, that and was. And then I say, I have no idea. I don't know what either one of them were talking about. So, uh, Adrian, you're awesome. You've been great for us and the fam loves you. So thank you so much. All right. Well, this is a, this is a good time for us to wrap. Thank you to Dr. V for hosting Mr. Quinn. And thank you to the inspiration that Miskelly's brings to our industry. They're such good people. Um, wonderful culture, as we've discussed and described. And, uh, hey, look, here's the thing. If you ever want to know more about it, Dr. V is always happy to help and share and that's just a further illustration of their good hearts. Um, great, great being with you today, Mr. Quinn, as always. And please, please, please always. go to the FAM. Go to FAM.news. Become a member. There's a little members tab up there. And get the free research of 2,000 recent mattress buyers. Huge insights you can apply to your business. We've never seen a bigger response for anything we've done content-wise. So don't miss out on that. Go to FAM.news right now.